Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is a video about all of the rules that SJWs have established for the comic book industry and how it's basically never stopping. Before I start, is this a graphic novel, rock and roll ninja graphic novel, and people are still getting expendables go to hell. Nice wheel gun right there. Thanks for sending that in. So I was having a conversation with a friend the other day. I think we were discussing the uh, Neil Gaiman NFTs. He's not allowed to auction off NFTs to help Afghanistan refugees trying to get away from the Taliban. What? He, what? <laughs> Are you serious? But anyway, uh, my friend brought up, they're like, you know, there's so many rules in comics. And they started lifting, listing them off. And they're like, uh, first you couldn't do Kickstarter. Then you couldn't do Indiegogo. And now you can't do Kickstarter again. I was like, what are you talking about? They had to remind me about this thing from 2015. Uh, Archie Comics cancels $350,000 Kickstarter campaign after criticism. Quote, it was no longer about the books and how amazing they will be. Company explains in a statement. Notice how SJWs are always doing things that force you to make a statement. You don't, or to make you think you have to make a statement. Are you a politician? Are you running for office? Are you CEO of a company that's being highlighted on 60 Minutes? No? Then you don't need to make a statement, do you? So uh, this was crazy. In 2015, a company put up a crowdfunding campaign and that blew people's minds. Uh, it had <laughs> Adam Hughes. Chip Zdarsky, and then they uh, they got bullied online uh, because apparently Kickstarter is only for broke losers with freaking you know who can't afford to pay their heating bills. Um, and so, in a statement released Friday, Archie Comics noted that while the response to these new titles has been amazing, the reaction to an established brand like Archie crowdfunding has not been. Um, Adding that although the intent had originally been to start work on the series ahead of a schedule allowed by Archie's, Archie's own funds, the response, quote, became another conversation leading us further away from the purpose of the whole campaign. SJWs will always make their bullshit your bullshit. Their fake rules that they're going to impose on everything. And I haven't even gotten to the full list of rules. Uh, while we fully expected uh, our goal to be funded, it was no longer about the books and how amazing they will be. We don't want that. That's why they're shutting down Kickstarter today. So they shut it down. It had just started. They had, you know, 642 backers, $34,000. And it sounded like they were well on their way. And they got bullied because of a fake rule that SJWs made that companies could not have crowdfunding campaigns. So let's look at some of the other rules. Uh, you, can't, you can't use Indiegogo because of cooties, essentially. You can't use Kickstarter <laughs> because they're... Uh, they're um, migrating to the blockchain weirdly enough twitter gets an exemption even though they literally have a special profile type that uses nft technology of course you're not allowed to sell nfts for any reason including raising money for war refugees you're not allowed to do that now this is not a consortium of highly intelligent people these are Mostly broke losers who spend all day long on Twitter. But they're vicious and they have time. <laughs> they're vicious, they have an internet connection, or they can walk their broke asses to the McDonald's parking lot and, and uh, use the Wi-Fi. And they're going to continually add more and more and more rules. It's never going to benefit you. Technically, it doesn't even benefit anyone. Um, uh, but they're going to see people take money out of their own pockets and basically just throw it in a sewer. So let me see if off the top of my head I can do uh, all of the rules. Okay, so you, uh, companies can't use Kickstarter. Um, individuals can't use Indiegogo. Indiv individual, why am I saying that so weird? Individuals can't use uh, Kickstarter. So companies <laughs> and individuals can't use Kickstarter anymore. Um, no NFTs of uh, any kind. You can't go on any live stream that has more than about 350 viewers. Anything that gets more viewers than that. Of course, you can't talk to anyone in com Comicsgate. You can't be Comicsgate adjacent. You can't be Comicsgate adjacent adjacent. Heidi McDonald's Comics Beat. 
like something out of a freaking middle school, literally will refuse to cover Indiegogo. They will, they will barely admit that it exists. Um, uh, there's companies you can't work with. Is Dynamite still in the doghouse? I saw who, somebody was covering it. Was it Bleeding Cool or... Um... Oh, no, it was, it was, I think it was Comics Beat. Uh, they started, basically, they, if they don't like you, they, they shun you. Uh, so a news organization will, number one, not admit that Indiegogo exists. And number two, not, uh, not cover, uh, so, oh, there's two things. So Comics Beat didn't cover it. And then, um, with, uh, Bleeding Cool, every single mention of Dynamite has to have a link to it being Comics Gate adjacent from like two years ago. Uh, because what they wanted to print a poster for a calendar or poster no no it was a variant cover of that star wars girl did that ever go through and then they were doing something with cecil i forget what they were doing that was it was a huge problem so you can't be comic skate adjacent adjacent don't use indiegogo for any reason because of cooties don't use kickstarter because you're a successful company and then later because they use nfts Twitter weirdly gets an exception, an exemption. Um, and I feel like there's several other rules that I'm blanking on. I don't, actually, let me see if I can, let me see if I can quickly find it in my uh, discussion with my friend. Because I remember they, I remember them numbering it and it went up to like seven. So that should, that should be pretty easy to find because we're not just blathering. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so you can't use Kickstarter as a success as a successful company or as an individual. Uh, you can't work with Dynamite because they were gonna do something with Cecil two years ago. I forgot about this one. You can't use a Substack, come on, because out of the tens of thousands of Substack accounts, three years ago, one of them said you shouldn't give hormones to kids in elementary school. So the entire platform is just off the table. YouTube, you're not supposed to use YouTube, uh, unless, <laughs> unless like you keep your viewership like really low. You would be surprised at the A-list um, comic book writers specifically who do live streams that literally like 90 people watch because they're not allowed to go on any of the successful ones. And of course, you got to flip out about NFTs for any reason. Okay, so I, I, I got them mostly all. I forgot, I forgot about Substack. Oh, and then image, okay, that image comic scene is kind of a, a separate thing. But uh, there's a long list of rules. It's ever-growing. It is uh, not consistent. It's corrupt. <laughs> I was, uh, was going to say corrupt as the day is long. It's as, as corrupt as comic speed, and that's saying something. Uh, so um, uh, fuck your rules and fuck you too. <laughs> I think Zoop is allowed, but Zoop is um, by invitation only. So that's not really viable for most people. They're tr I, it looks like they're trying to be boutique um, uh, and uh, bespoke. So they're only doing, I don't know, maybe like a very low amount per year. So uh, let me know about any of the rules I've missed. <laughs> I don't consider any of these rules to be legitimate. They're, I mean, most of them essentially boil down to cooties. And then cooties plus jealousy plus, I mean, just people just being ignorant about NFTs. I saw some comedians, they were talking about NFTs. They're like, did you did you know that NFTs use as much uh, electricity as all of uh, whatever, Norway? And the person said, Christmas lights in America use more electricity than all of Norway. <laughs> like, Why do you pick this very small uh, country uh, to compare us to? Um, but all, that NFT is just mainly promulgated by broke losers. They don't know. It's funny. I saw, I saw one of the usual suspects. They're like, where's that white paper about the uh, efficiency of the uh, type of blockchain uh, that um, <laughs> fucking Kickstarter is using? It's like, oh, you, you, you're going to dive deep into it? You, are you? Are, what do you <laughs> like? What, what are you going to do besides this is not acceptable and NFTs and blockchain are still bad? Idiot. Uh, so anyway, you don't have to follow any of these rules. These rules aren't real rules. Uh, they will attempt to enforce them. But as you see, there, there's, no, there's no safe harbor. 
Oh, you can't do Indiegogo. Okay, I'll go to Kickstarter. Can't do Kickstarter. Okay, I'll go to Zoop. Oh, shit. Just wait till one person who they don't approve of uses Zoop. And then it becomes like Substack. You can't you oh, oh, you can't do Substack. Watch out for that. Oh, boy, there's a lot of stuff. I don't know. Anyway, you don't have to listen to any of these rules. You don't have to listen to rules from fools.